So now we're gonna look at probably the most important topic in logs, which is real life logs. So how you can use logs to solve real life problems. Um, okay, so first we've talked about exponential functions. That's an exponential function in front of you because they come up all the time in these log questions. So they're generally in the form P is equal to A E to the power of B T. Okay, so they could have different letters, but it's always, it's basically always the same form. And generally P is gonna stand for the population or the amount at time t. Okay, so if you put in different times of t, you find out how the population, say, is growing or declining or whichever, whichever it may be. A, this big letter A here on the right-hand side, that's the population or the amount at the start. Okay, so that's always at the very start of the question, at the very start of if it's an experiment or if it's a period of time, A is the population or the amount at the start of that period of time. Okay, E is just E, so 2.718, blah, 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 it goes on forever, kind of like pi, one of those fancy numbers. B is what we call the growth constant, so I'll come back to that, so it's a constant anyway. A and B are numbers, and then T is in time, okay? So uh, it depends on the question, it could be days, months, weeks, years, etc. it depends on what they specify. But basically B and A are the two things that you need to find, and they're different for every question, yeah? Um, okay, so a little bit just about B, so I'm just gonna say, if b big so if b is a positive big number that means i'm going to say fast growth okay so you can use this kind of model so we're looking at an example we're talking about bacteria and bacteria growing so if b is a big number like 10 or 20 the bacteria will grow really really fast okay if b is small if b is small then that means it's going to be slow growth, okay? Um, so that means the bacteria, say, will grow quite slowly. It'll only be an extra one or two bacteria every day instead of, uh, it could be, if it's big enough, it could double every every day or something like that, okay? And then also the last one is if B is negative, so if B is minus, then that means it's a decay and it's not growth. Okay, so it's that B that says if it's decay or growth. So growth, obviously it's getting bigger, decay it's getting smaller. Um, yeah, so you're gonna get used to those, you're gonna be seeing them quite a lot. Every question is more or less, uh, it takes the same form, they just use different letters. So the way I'm gonna kinda go through this, just by an example, it's the best way to do it. All, all of these log questions are generally really, really similar. Okay, so I just wrote out that question there. So. Um, bacteria grows in a petri dish according to the equation below. So a petri dish is just one of those uh, little glass or plastic things you grow bacteria in, in a biology lab. I don't know, it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, it's, again, according to the equation below, so it's this equation here, P is equal to 1000 E to the power of B T, where P is the amount of bacteria after T minutes. So it asks, find the amount of bacteria at the start of the experiment, find the value of B if there are 1200 bacteria after five minutes, and determine the time it will take for the bacteria to reach 5,000, okay? So you may notice that it's exactly in the form P is equal to AE to the power of BT. In this case, A is equal to 1,000, so that means the population at the start is equal to 1,000. So we know that, we still can't write that just as the answer straight away, we can't write 1,000, we have to prove it, um, but to prove it isn't too hard either, okay? So I'll start by that, so we'll say question one, um, we're gonna say P is equal to 1000 by E to the B, and at the start of the experiment means that T is equal to zero. So it's zero minutes have passed because it's the very start. So we say T is equal to zero. That means P is equal to 1000 by E to the zero. So B by zero is equal to zero. Uh, and then E to the zero is just equal to one because anything to the power of zero. So P is equal to 1000 at the start, okay? Um, so that's that first part done, and that just shows that, kind of like I was saying, the number before that E to the B something, that's always the amount at the start, and you can prove it by doing that if you want. Okay, next question is part two. Find the value of B if there are 1200 bacteria after five minutes, okay? So this is the question you get asked the most. So the uh, 1,200 bacteria, that's the amount of bacteria after T minutes. So I'm gonna write, I'll go a different color, I'll go red blue. So it's gonna be 1,200 is P, and that's equal to this here. 
So 1000 E to the B and it's multiplied by five. So it says after five minutes, so T is equal to five. So this is what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to use logs to get this B down, but you can't do that straight away. So first you have to basically get rid of this number here before the E. So I'm gonna divide both sides by a thousand. So we're gonna say divide by a thousand and divide by a thousand. So that's gonna cancel with that. And then those O's are gonna cancel. If you put that into your calculator, you're gonna find 1.2 is equal to E to the power of 5B. And this is where our logs come in. So I'll go yellow for this. We're gonna take the LN of both sides. So I'm just gonna say LN of both sides. So it's gonna be LN of 1.2 is equal to ln of e to the power of 5b. So that's going to be ln of 1.2 is equal to 5b by ln to the e. So again, we bring this 5b down. This is going to become just 1. So I'm just going to cross it out because it's not going to change the 5b at all. So again, we have 5b is equal to ln of 1.2. So b our final answer is going to be ln of 1.2 divided by 5. So stick that into your calculator and you'll find your answer. And it depends how many decimal points they want of how many decimal, point, decimal points you're going to give. In this case, I'm just going to give it to 0 0.0364, just to four decimal places or three significant figures. Okay, 0 0.0364 is our answer for B. So if we go back up here, B is small enough, so it's a slow enough growth, um, but it's still, it could be smaller. It's not actually, compared to most Bs, that's not too small. Usually they can be even, they can be even smaller, basically. Uh, so it's gonna be growth, and it's gonna be slow enough growth anyway. Okay, so that's question one and question two. So basically know that method there, that method will come up again and again and again. That's the most popular question they can ask on logs in general, and especially real life logs. Uh, so now the third question. Determine the time it will take for the bacteria to reach 5,000. So that's really similar to part two there. I'm gonna draw a thing down here. I'm gonna squeeze it up here. So part three. Determine the time it will take for the bacteria to reach 5,000. So P is the amount of bacteria after T minutes. So we're gonna say 5,000. So P is 5,000 is gonna be equal to 1,000 by E to the 0 0.0364, so remember that's what B is, by T. Okay, so this time we know that P is 5,000 and we wanna find out what T is, so how long it takes for this to happen. So again, we're kind of back to this stage here, so I'm going to divide both sides by 1,000 again to get rid of this 1,000 in front of the E. So 1,000, cancel, cancel. This is gonna be five is equal to E to the 0 0.0. 364t. So now we're going to take ln of both sides. So it's going to be ln of 5 is equal to ln of e 0 0.0364 of t. Four is a great. There we go. Uh, we can take the 0 0.0364 down. So it's going to be ln of 5 is equal to 0 0.0364 t and then the ln of e remember just goes to one so that means our answer for t is ln of five divided by 0 0.0364 that means t is equal to one second 44.1 minutes so again that's all just calculator work you can't do that in your head 44.1 minutes Boom. Okay, so that's the first real life log question we're gonna do. Uh, that's gonna cover most of the questions they're gonna ask in the leave insert, to be honest. That, like they're, they're all very, very similar. If you can do this question and have a decent grasp of exponential functions, uh, you should be able to do most of them. We're gonna do two more questions, and after that you'll, you'll have seen basically every log question they can ask. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time for another real life log question.